Hey everyone, um, this is our fourth week of our Monday meditations, so welcome. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone why we're doing these. Um, life is really busy, and so the Monday meditations are an opportunity for you to just pause for a few minutes um, and just sit and listen to some truths from God's Word. Um, and the topic of each Monday meditation um, is about how you can further rest from the busyness and the hecticness of this world. Um, so today's topic is fixing our thoughts on what is true. So are you stressed or anxious or do you or have you ever felt nervous or overwhelmed? Um, I, like you, often feel this way. Um, and when I do, I notice that my mind just dwells on whatever the source of that stress or anxiety is. And I can't seem to tear my thoughts away from that thing until it's resolved. Maybe you um, feel guilty or ashamed and you can't keep from dwelling on whatever mistake it is that you made. I know that when I notice myself dwelling on um, anxieties or stressors or mistakes or past sins, um, I get even more anxious and more overcome with guilt and shame. Um, dwelling on an issue has never made it go away for me. I've never been able to dwell on it long enough to fix it. Um, life in this broken world will inevitably include situations or seasons of life that lead to anxiety and stress and leave us feeling overwhelmed. So what do we do when we're in these moments? How can we not dwell on stress and shame? It's not enough to simply stop thinking about negative things uh, because our minds are always thinking they're always dwelling on something whether we even realize it or not um, so we have to replace our anxious and overwhelming thoughts with other thoughts um, and Paul tells us what we should be dwelling on in his letter to the Philippians so if you will open your Bibles with me to Philippians chapter 4 we're gonna read verses 8 and 9. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. So, this command from Paul comes directly after his instruction to not be anxious about anything, but to go to God in prayer about everything. And then he says that the God of peace will guard your hearts and your minds when you do that. Um, and he tells us in chapter 4, verse 5, just a few verses back, that we can do this because the Lord is at hand. The Lord is near to us and is greater than all of our anxieties and stressors. And he's even greater than our guilt and our shame. So, what kind of things are true and honorable and just and pure and lovely and commendable and excellent and praiseworthy? I would encourage you to take a few minutes this Monday and think about what are things that fall in that category. Write down those words from that verse, and then write down things that, that would fall in that category. Write down things that are just. Write down things that are lovely. Write down things that are praiseworthy. Um, and then consider how you can think on those things instead of the things that are overwhelming and stressing. Have a great Monday.